Do you know what's the most difficult part for any content creation? That is to create content that your audience really cares about every single time. So how can you do it 10x faster? Be 200% sure people are gonna love it. And without spending more money on those paid tools for spotting trends. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily use AI and Reddit to find golden content ideas and turn them into trending content in just four steps. It will cost you less time, less energy, and guaranteeing your results. In the traditional way, we use Google Trends, keyword tools, even paid tools to spot trends. These are great ways to identify proven content ideas, absolutely. But I found Reddit is just a complete game changer. It has a diverse user base with super targeted users. So if you're familiar with Reddit, it is a big community composed of different sub communities in different categories. And for each of them, they represent a core theme or topic or community. And most importantly, you can get real time and really specific trending insights and context from the audience, which is something you're not able to get from Google Trends or Keyword Tools. But scrolling through Reddit for content research is quite a bit of a painful process, and that's why I recommend using two Reddit research tools. The first one is Gummy Search. It gives you insights about different Reddit communities and the topics that are discussed the most. Now I know what you're thinking, it must be a pay tool. Yes, it is, but you don't need the pay plan unless you want. The free version is really enough and what I actually want to show you is this free tools section where you can check the top subreddits list with growth data and check if any of them are somehow related to your niche and which is a great starting point. You can short by the community size if you want to be more specific, you can filter those with smaller communities with one thousand to ten thousand members or you can go really broad with one million plus members i would say depending on your niche both small or big communities you can still find topic ideas that can go viral. Generally speaking, I always love starting with a broader training community as the potential is always bigger even though it may be more saturated. So let's say I pick 1 million and then you will see it shows the top subreddit shots by daily, monthly, and yearly growth data as well as the member growth data engagement. But in order to evaluate a growing topic or community, I usually look at the yearly growth growth data so to make sure it's not just a sudden hit. For everything about 50% is considered quite a fast growing interest and um, like this one, that's absolutely a fast growing topic or community. Alternatively, if you have a niche in mind, you can also check for the Reddit growth data manually using is an other free tool, the subreddit finder. For example, let's, let's say self-improvement. Obviously, it's a big community with almost 2 million members, but the yearly growth rate is not quite fast, indicating this may be a quite saturated niche with lots of content out there. So the ultimate goal here is to pick a topic that has a sizable community or interest and yet has a fast growing rate. So you will use this tool to validate a trending topic or interest by using this search function. It also shows you some similar subreddits on the sidebar. Now I want to introduce you to an other cool tool, that is Reddit Map. I know this tool from another YouTuber and I found it is super helpful in finding trending and related topics. And you can use it interchangeably with Gummy Search to identify a good trending topic. I'll include the link below. So it is a visualization tool that displays the relationship between different subreddits community. The visualization is really cool and it is very easy to spot related topics. Let's say I'm planning content in a broad niche self-improvement. Then I can search it. Then you can immediately identify lists of closely related subreddits. Those pink highlighted bubbles such as introvert, stoicism, productivity, meaning these are subtopics that are highly related with self-improvement based on the user activity and content similarities. And the size of the bubbles represent the size of the community. Or you can click on each bubble and it will show you the total number of members. So in this case, Get Discipline definitely is a bigger community than Confidence. And it usually means there is more interest for this niche. And this way, you can quickly identify related topic that you may not have considered. And together with Gummy Search, we can check each of these subreddits to validate if these are the growing topics we should focus and create content about, and what are the cool topics that people love. 
because sometimes you may not get all the associated subreddit using the gummy search free tool or the free version is pretty restrictive. So this way you can make sure you are not missing any potential subtopics. Let's say I want to check productivity and you can see this is obviously a good trending topic because it has a sizable community of 3 million members. It has a yearly growth rate of over 60% and actually got some of the top metrics like number of poses per day, meaning lots of interest regarding this topic and will have a great potential to go trending. Of course, you can also search using typical keyword tools, but then you may not able to get a full picture without considering the size of a growing community. So you will repeat this process and ultimately fix a few growing topic that related to your broad niche. All right, let's say we decided on the topic productivity and then go back to the Reddit map tool, search for the productivity subreddit, and you will see the top 25 threads grouped by hot, controversial, top, new, and that are happening real time now on Reddit. So filter the poses by top and these top poses are the threads with the most upvotes meaning these are the topics people can mostly resonate with and then shop by the past year. So make sure we get more reliable insights and then just quickly skim through these 25 threads and see if there are any repeating patterns. For example, I can quickly see people always mention procrastination. People are asking questions mostly starting with how, at least a few of them. If you want to dig deeper, you can also sign up Gummy Search for its free version. It allows you to create up to five audience for free. And then you can check the topic sections shot by growth. And again, take note for any patterns and identify more keywords that are often associated with this growing topic. Things like AI, burnout, fitness, tools, but note that the free version only allows you to perform 50 searches and checking the top topics will consume one search credit. So take all the nuances, patterns because we're gonna use it in the next step. So what's next? What to do with this trending topic? The traditional way is to use keyword research tools to get more relevant content ideas. And the one that I'm going to show you will take an unconventional approach. Again, that is Reddit. And we're going to dig through all the real popular questions asked within the chosen subreddit. Because then we can guarantee the content is something people really want and maximize the potential to go trending. But instead of paying the gummy search tool, there are two free ways you can do it pretty easily. Way number one is to use the scraper tool export comments. It allows you to extract data from the most of the common platforms like Reddit. So pick the Reddit post collector and then paste the subreddit link. In this case, that's productivity. What it does is extract the Reddit threads happening within this subreddit. And the free version allows you to extract up to 100 threads. So it's not too bad. If you want, you can always upgrade to the paid version that allows you to export up to 5,000 rows. So open a new Excel file file and only paste the thread titles on the file. Though this method has one drawback, it is not filtered, so then only the most recent one. So we're also gonna use method two, that is by searching on Google and using Google search operators to narrow the search results to those from that particular subreddit site. And the best thing about it is that you can ensure those threads already ranked it on Google are often those popular with lots of upvotes or discussions because Google use different engagement signals like click-through rate, content relevance to index and rank these Reddit threads. It seems a bit technical, but it's actually pretty easy. Before I show you how to do it, we need two Chrome extensions. The first one is Infinite Scroll for Google. We will use it to enable the Infinite Scroll for search result page, and you will know why in a minute. Another extension is Search Snippet Extractor. We will use it to extract all the page titles for each search results. I will include all the links below. All right, so on Google search bar, type in size colon and then the subreddit link. So what it does is to restrict the search results to only focus on this subreddit link. In this case, that is the productivity subreddit. Remember the patterns you have marked down in the previous step? We want to use it here. So type in the operator in title colon procrastination to further narrow down the search results only with a page title containing the word procrastination and filter it 
by the past year. Now, an important step is to enable infinite scroll so you can keep getting a list of search results. And once you're done the scrolling, then click the search snippet extractor icon and it will extract the snippet data, including the title and paste them to the Excel. So you will have all the phrase title. And we can continue this process by extracting more specific phrase by using the beginner words phrases like how to, what is, where to, how can, how I, why do, and then you can get a list of real questions people ask within this Reddit in the past year. So clean the data a bit, remove unnecessary columns, and save as a CSV file. Of course, you can always use some sophisticated scraper tool, pay tool to filter the threads and extract them. But this method won't cost you a dollar and it's actually pretty fast as well. And we're not done yet. At this point, a bonus step is you can also ask Perplexity AI for the top question people commonly ask about your topic and narrow down the focus to just Reddit. So making sure we did not miss anything. And then you can copy the question and paste back to the question list. If you want, you can also skip this step. It's fine. Just keep in mind, the more real data you collect here is always better for the actual content creation process. The next step is the most exciting part. And this is my favorite part. In the old days, you probably need to scroll through all the questions, data, and analyze the themes. Now with Cloud, it would just take you less than a minute to do that. Again, you don't need to use Cloud just because personally, I really like it and use it for content creation. But you can use other AI chatbots like ChatGPT, Gemini, the concept is the same. So what I'm gonna do is to attach this question list to Cloud and ask it to summarize the top five pain points top five desires, top five motivations from people searching for this topic and to come up with a list of jobs to be done. Cloud just immediately pulls what it found and I can say Cloud is exceptionally good at doing this kind of sentiments analysis. So you can see pain points like procrastination, social media addiction, poor sleep habits. So these are all good ideas we can use to produce trending content. And particularly, I really like the jobs to be done because that's exactly the call deliverable for your content and how your content solve this problem, such as building a system for prioritization, methods to build habits, framework to maintain work-life balance. And these are the topics that people are gonna love it because they are real questions, real problems. So having these insights will allow you to have a complete picture when you do the actual copywriting or scripting. The next step is actually the most important part, which is the overall packaging for the content. Because no matter how you pick a good topic, if you don't have an appealing packaging, it still can't go trending or viral. So a piece of trending content should have an engaging title or first liner, which is relatable to your target audience. First, pick one of the desires, a pain point, and a jobs to be done, and ask Clock to generate a list of engaging title ideas that can mostly resonate with real humans. It should be direct, conversational, but not too casual, and able to pick curiosity. And now, some of the titles are really interesting, like this one how to trick your brain into starting any tasks, why you can't get started and how to fix it today, they have good curiosity. And this one, build a productivity routine that actually sticks. So just using a great title or first liner can completely change the content. And it can be used in any types of content, YouTube videos, LinkedIn poses, blog articles. Now we'll pick a title and attach the question again, and then we'll ask Clark to propose a content outline with key topics based on the comments that are relevant to the desire, pain point, motivation, and the jobs to be done that we have chosen. So we will also ask it to incorporate key elements to be included, like a strong hook with a personal story, emotional appeal, conflicts, high relatability, practical value. So you can see this is the first draft and I would say it's not too bad. It's using a first person story, which I like, explaining the psychology behind procrastination, how to break the cycle. It's very logical, but I think more conflicts or objections would be better for it to be trending. So let's ask it to revise and add more conflicts between points. So you can see this version is much 
better. There are conflicts at each point to build up the momentum and then you resolve it. So keeping it more engaging overall. And I would say this is useful in any types of content, particularly social content like YouTube or LinkedIn, which you need to grab the viewer's attention quickly. So always ask Clark to introduce some conflicts or common objections so you can create more tension and a copy and make it more interesting. Like this session, I really like the digital dilemma. We want to stay away from technology, but at the same time, we have lots of apps to monitor productivity and you're gonna provide your own unique perspective in resolving this objection. Of course, this is not yet finalized, but you get the idea. Ask Clock to generate the structure, points of conflicts, and the talking points based on the specific pain points, desires, and you fill it up with your own opinion. And I would say putting your own experience is always a great way to differentiate. Assume you have the key outline fixed it, you can take a step further to ask Clock to generate different first liner ideas for the hook to make sure to grab their audience attention. It is super useful if you're drafting posts, especially for LinkedIn, Twitter, so you can have a strong hook to stop the scrolling. Definitely use this tip. So this is exactly how you leverage Reddit to find trending golden content ideas, gather real users pain point, desires, question, and ask Clock or any AI to fast track the content creation process and package it in a way to go trending. You can apply this whole workflow without using any pay tools and even Clock, you can just use the free version. There's still so much I can share regarding content creation with Clock because it's just amazing and how we can even build different AI agents tools to fully automate it. So any particular area I should cover more or clarify more in detail, please let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. And before you go, I highly recommend you watch my other videos about some of the best use cases in using clock for marketing tasks. I will see you next time.